Hey everybody, it's good to be back, and we're going to uh, probably do a, maybe the wrap up for this project. I can't think of many more things I'm going to do here. Um, but just to point out uh, what I've accomplished so far, I'm still getting my works, my workspace back together here. I haven't finished it yet, but um, but I did was able to do some work on this. Uh, hurricane wasn't that bad. It was a lot of wind, obviously, and rain, but not having no power was the worst part, so we could have been uh, in much worse shape there. So, what you'll see here is a 4K 20 watt resistor. It's hollow, right there, you can see it. Um, and that was the uh, value that I determined would get me the closest to the published voltages, which is 300 volts on B plus and, uh, and 167 volts right after the 33 microfarad cap. So, um, on low power, the unit's plugged in and turned on, and you'll see that I'm getting 310. And 174. So, uh, so that resistor is uh, is close enough for me. I'm going to leave it where that is. When I flip the power switch, the high power switch, you can see what happens. So she'll jump up to about 356 and 200, a little bit more. Um, and you know that's that's going to be fine. I believe the 6L6 tube can handle up to 375. So uh, we're going to leave that right where it is. And we're going to stay with that um, with that resistor right there. So uh, I do have my uh, MP3 player connected, and um, we're gonna we're gonna put something on here. Let's start playing, and we're gonna come over here to our Hammerland. That's uh, that's transmitting. Let's go back over here, and uh, you'll see what we have going on here at the moment. There's my tuner. I told you. I showed you that last time. I still have this mounted on the top. I decided I'm not going to put the meter on this, um, but I do uh, have a plan for my next project, which is going to be very similar to this one. So let me show you what that is. I'll be right back. All right. So here's what I think my next project is. It's a Philco 89. Uh, those of you that know Buzz 1151, he just did a restore of one of these. And um, I think what I'm going to do on this one is turn it into an AM transmitter. So, um, first thing I did, let me flip this around, is I measured the chassis because I thought maybe I could slip this chassis inside there, but no luck. This chassis is 12 inches. This one is 11 three quarters. So, um, so I think what I'm going to do is take this out. I'm going to strip it, clean it up underneath, and I'm going to build another AM transmitter. And I'm going to use this as the cabinet. I'll remove the speaker. I'll have the air antenna coming up through the top somewhere. Maybe back, maybe back here somewhere. I don't know. But, um, but I think that's what my next project's going to be. I'm not going to do a series on it because you've already seen me build one of these. But I will show you uh, what it looks like when I get through it. So that's the uh, that's the plan. So um, actually, John gave me this idea. He mentioned that uh, he knows someone that actually did this with an antique radio and turned it into a transmitter. I think it makes a lot of sense, right? It's it's in a case. It looks nice. The cabinet on this thing is in very good shape. Um, that type of thing. So um, so I think that's the plan. All right. And the thing that's good about it is I can mount stuff inside. I can mount the um, the output transformer on on here if I had to. So I don't have to worry about the real estate problem that I had on the other one. All right, so that's the uh, that's the update here. It's good to be back, and uh, and I hope everybody's doing well. And I'll see you guys soon with my next project that I'm going to make a series out of. But this is going to be a side project. Take care, folks.